guys, it's Ty from the Gaming Hub, and this week we're going to take a good look at the Walking Dead game developed by Telltale Games, not to be <laughs> confused with uh, Survival Instinct, no. Walking Dead the game, season 1 and 2. Both these games are essentially just two halves of the same coin. They are a continua continuation of the first and second story into a great and total whole. Now, unlike traditional zombie games, this is a game that completely revolves around your decision making. The choices you make have a huge impact on the story. So sit right back and enjoy this incredible segment of the Gaming Home that I'm proud to bring to you. Check! Now, in Season 1, you assume the role of Lee Everett. In Season 2, you become the first game's young starlet. Clementine. And if you're expecting this to be what you would call your traditional kill them all like God sort them out, high body count zombie shooters, and I'm sorry to say, you're shit out of luck. This game, as I just said, is centered around your decision making. It's like a novel, and you are the author. You get to decide how this story plays out, because this is truly a role playing experience that has not yet been done like this before in a video game before this game came out. It really cannot be played one way. There are so many different scenarios that can be brought to life from the decisions you make, the choices that you must make. <laughs> now, there's a lot of mechanics uh, concerning objects that you have to interact with, but the most key of which is how you interact and form relationships with uh, other characters in the game. You may choose to be honest, or a liar, a nice guy, or an asshole. It's all up to you. But just remember, as you play this game, it adapts to what you decide, and will ultimately evolve according to the way you play. So, make sure you choose wisely, or else you might end up with a, a scenario or a story that you created, so you're the one to blame, not the game, that you may not have uh, been too happy with. <laughs> The game begins in the opening hours of the initial uh, outbreak when the zombie infestation first happened, so everyone at the moment is still pretty ignorant at, you know, the, they're in a zombie apocalypse. So you have to forgive Lee here for being completely unaware of the fact that zombies play possum and they're really good at it. Speaking of which... Officer. Whoa! Uh-oh. Back up, buddy. You're gonna wanna get some distance. What the fuck are you? Yes, uh, wouldn't a gun really be good right about now? Oh, there it is. And didn't you pick up a shotgun shell? You did! Oh, oh. Don't fumble your ammunition! Don't fumble! Come on, load it! Load it! Load it! Come on! Shoot! Nice. Now, if you're unsatisfied with the choices that you made, or if you're just curious to see how other scenarios will play out by simply changing your decision making, at any time in the game, you may rewind this game's story back to key junction points in e each episode. That way, this game really opens you, the player, up to a lot of replayability. Which is awesome, you're really getting your money's worth in this. <laughs> Not to mention the scenery changes up quite nicely for the sake of story progression and pacing. Also, this gives you a good way to a buffer zone to catch your breath after a near-death experience with some ugly zom-zoms. And this is an ideal chance for you to maybe interact with your fellow survivors to help build your relationships. You know, mingle! Banta! Banta! You know, socialize! Don't be such a, you know, um, you know, an emo loner. Come on, get in there and start talking with people. I mean, you might want to choose a side in an argument. You might want to gossip, you know? Do something. Just start talking her up. <laughs> and like I said before, all your decisions do matter. For example, at the end of Season 1, Episode 1, you have to decide who lives or dies. Doug or Carly. And whichever choice you make greatly affects the outcome and how the story progresses from the next couple episodes forward from this point. Now, I myself decided to choose Carly, and no, not because she's smoking hot, though the, that did not hurt, but no, it turns out she's a dead-eye shot with that pistol of hers, and I thought, hey, in a world filled with zombies, that might actually come in handy, so sue me! I suppose it is safe to say that everyone who has played this game has their favorite episodes in their respective seasons, and I myself am, <laughs> well, no exception to this. 
Now, this was a close call for me. Originally, I was going to pick Season episode 4, four. my favorite pick, because in this episode, you do the most shooting in this episode than you do out of any other in the whole series to date. And I love to shoot zombies, but ultimately, I had to pick Episode 3. And the reason why, because uh, Episode 3 just had a lot more to offer. For example... Early on in Episode 3, Lee and his group of survivors get involved in a vicious shootout with a gang of bloodthirsty bandits who are hell-bent on raiding and pillaging. You know, typical bad guy stuff. Go video game logic! Woo! But this was so interesting for me because, unlike shooting zombies, you're going against a gang of thugs who can and will shoot back at you. So remember to keep your head down because if you don't, you will get popped a couple of times. It was a pretty decently worked out set, it had a lot of suspense, a shit ton of action, and it just kept me wanting more, come on, bring it on, gotcha, headshot, nice. Uh oh, but all the shooting will attract a lot of zombies, so you gotta wrap this up quick, this is a time limit. Come on, show me your face so I can shoot it off. <laughs> come on, show me that pretty little head. Boom, headshot. Not to mention, this episode in particular gave me a plot twist that I never saw coming. What the fuck's the problem? <gasps> no! Kill her! Kill her! Drop it! Kill her! All in all, I think I took it in good stride. And in season two, without a doubt, hands down, no contest. My favorite pick was episode 2, and this is why. Jenny! My favorite character! He's alive! Everyone thought he died, but I knew he survived! I knew it! 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 I called 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 it! Woo! Yes! 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 Woo! Well, that's why I like season 2 for making the most epic call ever of episode 2. That one was my favorite. I take... No small amount of personal satisfaction there. Alright, so you heard the testimony, now it's time for the rating system. Let's just cut right to the chase. Both these games were made perfectly, flawlessly. I love them start to finish, and they make me want to know what happens in Season, season 3, which is coming out later this year. I can't I'll wait to see what happens next! Oh god, stoked, stoked, stoked. Wait a minute, ratings, yes. Both games get a unanimous 10 out of 10! Perfect scores across the board. They earned it, and I love them for it. All right, well, I guess that about wraps it up in our thrilling episode of The Gaming Hub. Hope you enjoyed it, and you know what? We'll see you next time. Take her easy.